Swayam Smishra. This Indian grandmaster has a very beautiful and heartwarming story that is very relatable to all the chess players and chess lovers out there. So today, as we celebrate Swayam's 29th birthday, uh, we will have a look at his story as well as a couple of his games where he showed tremendous skill and beautiful finesse to finish off his opponents with the black pieces. So firstly, a very, very happy birthday to Swayam Smishra from the entire Indian chess community and we wish him the very best in all his future endeavors. So let's have a quick look at one of his very nice and cunning uh, wins here and as you can see he's playing Rafael Malasagne in the Avion Open in France. This is a very short and quick win and I'll be telling you more about Swam's story and success throughout the video. So as you can see uh, it's a pretty standard opening. Black is already a slightly better but I want to really show you this game because he sets up a beautiful trap right around here. So he plays pawn to a4. It's not yet clear, but he's going to try to trap the black queen, the white queen here. Sorry. So pawn to b4, stopping rook a5. Bishop to e6. Suddenly you can see this queen has no squares. And now you just want to try and block all the squares for the queen and attack it. So rook fc1 and so I'm plays the beautiful move, rook a6. Trapping the black, uh, the white queen. Can you tell me what is black's threat here? So even the white player was almost 2200. He missed it. He just played pawn to h4, and Swams played a beautiful retreating move. Remember the retreating move with knights are very difficult, and Swams found out this move with absolute ease, and his opponent resigned the game as he was uh, completely shocked here. So I like. We'll show you another win uh, like this of Swams, but before that, I'd also like to let you know that Swams had a very normal routine to a Grandmaster, but I'll just tell you more about history. Like he faced a, a number of roadblocks and failures like plenty of other players, but his, uh, f his phase during uh, the phase between his International Master and Grandmaster uh, title is pretty, pretty, uh, amazing if you learn from it. So Swams completed his international master title in 2012 but he had to wait for seven long years before he could become a grandmaster and in that he faced plenty of roadblocks. Road he in fact even completed two of his three norms very very soon but he had to fa face a long uh, gap of three and a half years just to score his third norm. He had even completed 2500 rating. He just needed one norm, but Swams kept fighting, kept playing good chess. And meanwhile, guys, he also had completed his uh, IT studies. Like he's an IT engineer. So all of you guys out there who think it's very difficult to uh, do two things at once. So he completed his IT engineering. He's also a FIDE trainer, guys. That is amazing. I mean, he has students all over the world and he has also managed to take them from a modest rating to titles like International Master and Grandmaster as well. He is in fact also listed as an official coach on chess.com. So feel free to reach out to him if you want to improve your chess. And another very cool fact that you really should know about Swams is uh, he is also a TEDx speaker, guys. How many Grandmasters do you know are TEDx speakers. So in fact, Swams uh, gave a TEDx talk and the title of his TEDx talk is uh, Facing Your Fears and he very beautifully talks about his fears and his story as well in that. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out as well. So coming back to the chess guys, here we see uh, Swams playing an absolute legend of the game, Hunt him man. If you know him, then awesome. If you don't know him, do Google him and check out his credentials. He was a top 10 player of the world, ranked high, as high as almost number three in the world at some point. A FIDE candidate, like we had the candidates tournament earlier. So he was a FIDE candidate back then and plenty of other achievements. Dutch number one, Dutch champion for a long, long time. So here, Swams is playing Huntiman in the last round of the PokerStars tournament organized by chess.com at the Isle of Man in 2005. This good win gave uh, Swams his second GM now. And mind you, he had to wait a long three and a half years after this. 
for his third one so here you can see he was in form he had a dream tournament year and he was on the cusp of becoming a grandmaster before his short gap that he had to face so here we can see uh, the italian game and then uh, swams is playing the black pieces but his opponent uh, is trying an aggressive opening going all out uh, maybe it's the last round maybe he wants to uh, play attacking chess but right around here he uh, gives up a piece but it's okay black is underdeveloped you can see black's pieces are right here so just mind you that imagine the pressure on swams because swams had to win this round to get his second gm norm and it kind of played in his favor that his opponent is also playing attacking chess so at g5 at g5 he picks up a piece but you can see this our uh, file is completely open black's king is under immense threat but swams acts coolly he he just he was cool as a cucumber to get this win and after d4 bishop c1 rook c1 he makes this important escape square for his king so queen h5 king f8 uh, of course you need to protect this bishop and now swams really starts to turn on the screws and get, finish his development and uh, in fact guy mind you don't play rook e8 to win the queen because rook h8 wins the game for white as it's a checkmate so king to g8 and now pawn to f6 making the another escape square on f7 for his king and yeah after this swams had to face a few checks but again bishop f5 another good move guys you can learn how to consolidate from a winning position you are a piece up but your king is weak but swams plays flawless chess from here to just turn on the screws and have a completely winning position here and again trade when you're ahead queen c8 of course white can't trade now he gets his queen to f8 and this is an important moment i want to show you look how beautiful this is guys all of white's pieces are on light squares the color of his bishop including the king and yeah after this, this is just a matter of time and just before we end i just want to show you a nice tactic here uh, let me see if you guys can solve it feel free to pause the video here and uh, yeah so the answer is bam rook takes you to beautiful move here if you take with a king then i think bishop e4 is also winning queen d2 is also winning and if you take with the queen then i just have uh, i think queen f4 check at the bare minimum that that wins the rook so guys this was uh swam smishra and his beautiful story remember international master first then had a ga gap then became a grandmaster meanwhile he completed his it engineering degree became a field trainer gave a tedx talk saying facing your fear fears and an absolute uh dream came true for swams after a long gap of seven years so let's wish swams a very very happy birthday in the comments like the video guys and do subscribe because we have plenty of videos as i've been saying in the month of august for indian grandmasters thank you for checking this out and we'll be back very soon